This Week Other People's Junk is part of a collab from Jamie Ray Vintage Business Group. Check out the other videos. My peers do some great work. We're going to take old, gaudy Easter decor and we're going to make it cute. We're going to use a bunch of Junk Monkey products. And if you're looking for these products, you can hit up Rustic Rehabs with an S dot com. So we're going to make some textured paint paint our wreath in these two bigger bunnies so we're going to make some that looks like cement and some that just looks like old world style i'm going to take a couple of spoonfuls you want to do like a one-to-one -one ratio of paint and baking soda so we're just going to mix this up <clears throat> that's going to be pretty chunky at first but just keep mixing and after a few seconds, it will come together. All right, now I'm gonna let that sit for a minute while we make the gray. I take this one, I'm gonna use Paris Gray by Junk Monkey, which was the very first color I ever used from Junk Monkey. Still one of my favorites. As it sits for a while too, it will, I mean, it gives a chance for the paint to make the baking soda dissolve a little bit. And then we're just gonna brush it on and it's gonna give this really textured look that, uh, this is especially textured because of the texture in the ceramic itself. It's a very sweet little piece. This is, I think, gonna look much more farmhouse and subtle. He is ready to go sit with his sister. I think for this, I'm gonna put a little bit of my white into my gray, make this one a little more subtle. Our projects here are dry. I made some cream colored wax here with um, the Jump Monkey milk paint. It's called the Milkshake. This is Miss Petunia. And you can take the Jump Monkey Monkey Shine wax and mix it in. And so all I did was grabbed a little bit, and actually it's kind of thick, so I'm gonna grab a little more. Just got out, and we've got a little Tupperware container, and I'm just gonna mix it in. What I did earlier was grabbed like a teaspoon of the milk paint and put it in. And you'll see how this starts to make all the little details on the bunnies come to life. All the thing you can do is if you see spots where the paint didn't fully cover, get some wax in there and uh, let it sit for a little hot minute and it will, uh, should be unnoticeable. You can see 
looks a lot different. And the wonders of using like a white wax like this is you're taking off, right? You're taking off the top layers, but then that wax stays in all the details. So you're sealing in the paint, but you're also like really making it pop. That's unique and very, uh, very farmhouse. Again, just dunking in our creamy wax here, creamy white wax. And watch him start to get even more character. He's looking pretty cute. And then I think we're gonna white wax this one, but we're gonna also create some brown wax because we want her to look kind of old worldly. So let's make some brown wax here. I have a knife here, my monkey shine, and I'm gonna grab, I don't know, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm gonna grab this big of a chunk. <laughs> I think this container here that I have. I use these to give, um, touch up paint for my custom clients. So let's just dump in, dump in the mousse milk, milk paint. I don't have milk paint on my site yet, but I can definitely get it for you if you are looking for that. Still building up my inventory as a newer Jump Monkey retailer. And we're just gonna go give her a quick cover of the cream and you can definitely see that it's creamy on top of the pure white paint that we put on yesterday. If you put too much brown wax on you can always come back with clear wax to kind of highlight her and make her look like old ceramic. grab a stencil brush. You can get these on my website too. This is a Jamie Ray Vintage stencil brush. It's small, so I'm going to dunk it in that wax and I'm going to try to hit the hit some of the details in here that the other brush couldn't really get into. Let's try to cover up the paint of your ear. different she looks huh i am so excited with how these turned out if you like to flip other people's junk too stick around give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button next week i have a cabinet that i scored at the thrift store for 10 bucks that i'm starting a new concept called is this too ugly to save so stick around and see what we make of this baby thanks for watching and please check out the rest of the videos there's some great stuff